In this series, we have briefly discussed the evolution and history of Huey, Dewey and Louie, right from their first animated appearance in 1938 up until the modern age. What we have yet to cover, however, is the evolution of the characters' voices, surprisingly only provided by a small number of voice artists over the years. For a very long time, Huey, Dewey and Louie were designed as indistinguishable characters who not only shared the same physical design, but also the same voice. Throughout the length of their appearances in the classic animated shorts between between 1938 and 1965, their voices were provided by Clarence Nash, the then voice of Donald Duck. It wasn't until later appearances that studio storytellers decided to give the characters a sense of individuality. And in doing so, Rusi Taylor would take over vocal duties for the characters from 1987, remaining one of their current voice actors today. Tony Anselmo, the current voice of Donald Duck, has given life to the triplets in tandem with Taylor since 1987 as well, but usually only in classic animation inspired sequences which require the character to speak with a more duck-like voice. The only times the three ducks have actually had three individual voice actors were in the 1996 series Quack Pack, where they would be voiced by Jeannie Elias, Pamela Adlon and Elizabeth Daly, and in the current DuckTales reboot series where they are voiced by Danny Pudi, Ben Schwartz and Bobby Moynihan. In this special companion video we will explore the voice artists who have brought the three ducks to life in major productions, including shorts, television series and feature films. Without further comment from myself, I will allow the voice artists to guide you through Huey, Dewey and Louie's voice evolution in this edition of Explaining Disney. Oh, all our supporters are donating something. 
You only have to buy a trophy for the soccer tournament. See? What a miser. Digging up this piece of junk just to save a dollar forty-nine. Yeah. That is so cheap. Yeah, but he's traveling. Okay, Huey? Yes, Uncle Donald. No, back up, Huey. No, Uncle Donald. Huey, be good. I'm your spit box. Ah, uh, yes and no, Uncle Donald. Wow, a palace and a butler and our own room. You know, living here might not be so bad after all. Three strikes and you're out is pretty much a standard rule of baseball, Dewey. Oh, you know what I mean. It isn't fair we have to look exactly alike. We can't help it. The three of us are twins. Hey, these costumes are great. Yeah, we're just like the Three Musketeers. All for one and one for all. You said it, Dewey. Dewey, you're one of a kind. What a Rooney. Oh, there's nothing in it. No, that's awfully neighborly of you, Clawford. Maybe you could start by, uh, fixing the fence. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, trick Claw into doing our gold digging instead of doing his job. Uncle D was right. Money doesn't fix everything. I'm bummed. Outside, the air is clear. But inside, it's suffocation city. Lately, I I've been feeling cramped. Like I need some space. Maybe it was all that health food he... Ah! You're erasing it! Oh, oh no! It's gone. <laughs> Somehow, yak burgers have lost their subtle charm. Will it curse? I can't get this lawnmower to work! I sure wish there were some good citizen to help. I don't get it. I thought cats love tuna fish. Mm. Hey, this stuff is great! Not a single customer all day. I'm ready to give up. Hey, what's the matter, boys? Hi, Daisy. We used Dewey's comics to start the fire. Uh, uh, it'll be fun. We'll cook up some grub. It's here. The one, the only, best day of the year. It's Christmas. Oh, boy. Just what we always wanted. Hey, look at this. Cool. Great day. We should do it more often. Yeah. Once a week should be enough. We wish it was Christmas every day. Why don't you play something? Anything for you, Mickey. We made the good list, right? Absolutely. We've been very good this year. <coughs> we're doomed. Oh, there's no way we're on Santa's good list this year. I guess it's too late to change. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. So, you want to put some frogs in Uncle Donald's bed? Maybe later. Uh, can, can we, we borrow, borrow some, some toilet, toilet paper? paper? <laughs> <laughs> and who are we gonna pull our pranks on? Christmas? But I thought Christmas was a no-no. Oh, bingo! I love road trips. I've got snacks, a playlist of traditional sea shanties, matching family road trip shirts. A lot. Don't talk to anybody, don't touch anything, don't lick anything, don't go near the emergency brake. Or you just kept it to yourself so you can feel special. Classic Dewey. She's our mom! Hi, Huey slash Jet here. How did you survive in a barren wasteland? Have you adjusted to our gravity? Did you make any customized modifications to your leg? Come on, guys! Let's go touch some expensive stuff. Do the number of stripes tell you their age? Is it true if you stare them in the eyes they won't kill you? Or does that make them want to kill you faster? 
I've, uh, kind of been researching her on my own. A little. I mean, I just searched a forbidden library, crashed the sun chaser, talked to the goddess Selene. Okay. You know, hearing it out loud, it comes off way worse than it sounded in my brain. Oh, man. Uncle Donald's got to be the unluckiest duck in the world. Nope. I'm not buying. This has to be a trick. Or, or a curse from Magicka. Or a parallel universe. Or, or... Uh, uh, this is the best anyone has ever looked. This show is so dumb. He could always turn off the telly. Yeah, but the remote's way over there. Hey! Ugh, oh, I get it. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, you like what you've seen, you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now, and also hit that like button down below if you're feeling extra generous. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.